Hello everyone, Fabri here and welcome to Shades of Tech. Today I want to talk about the iPhone 7 and I'm sure you have seen a lot of stuff about it, a lot of uh, reviews, comparisons, speed tests, crash tests and so on. And you know everything about the best smartphone yet from Cupertino. Well, if you're watching this video probably because you think you know everything about that or maybe you're curious or you think it's clickbait but it's not clickbait I promise and yes there is one incredible feature that you are missing and you will be able to amuse your friends and they will be like what was that? So if you still don't believe me, well let's make a bet. If you already knew about this feature, well you are allowed to smash the dislike button. But if you didn't know it, well you must subscribe to Shades of Tech. Are you in? Are you curious? Well, let's go right into it! So, First Touch was introduced in iOS 9 with the iPhone 6s in 2015, after the experience with the First Touch trackpad in the 12-inch MacBook Retina, and it was later called 3D Touch for some unknown reasons. It was supposed to help you with basically daily tasks, implementing shortcuts in the on screen. Well, it didn't work out so well as every first generation Apple thing. And it was only with iOS 10 and iPhone 7 that it was exploited to a higher level, integrated deeper in the OS, and especially with the brand new haptic feedback engine. Personally, I find the 3D Touch pretty amazing, and I use it more and more every day as I discover new shortcuts and ways to take less time to make the same thing as before. And as you probably understood, the feature I want to share with you is about 3D Touch. But another feature that is linked is multitasking, and I'm sure all of you are familiar with it since it was introduced in iOS 4 or something like that. Well, from that is changed a lot, but it was always activated in the same way. Double tap on the home button. And I think that you can confirm that this is one of the features you use the most to switch back between your background running applications. Well, wouldn't be awesome if you could activate it with 3D Touch? Well, now you can. Yes, you can. The 3D Touch has different layers in the depth of the press. If you press it gently and slide right, you can directly switch to the app used before without accessing the multitasking menu, which is so much faster. In comparison, you had to go in the bottom of the screen and double tap the home button, scroll the up and tap. Now you just force touch and slide. If you give a deeper touch, it will be automatically opened to the multitasking menu and will be able to choose the app you want, but without going down to the home button. So again, gentle touch and slide, and you can go to the app you opened before. Deeper touch and open the multitasking. It's pretty simple and so much faster, so I'm pretty sure that after a few try, you will include it in your workflow so smoothly. Of course, it comes so helpful with the one hand use and in bigger form such as the plus model like I use. But even with the two hands mode, it can be pretty useful. And yes, it can be used also on the 7 model to speed up workflow or maybe for girls that have generally smaller hands. Unluckily, it works only on the left side of the bezel of the screen. And this is probably because all the application in background are stored on the left side of your current page, so the slide to right comes pretty natural. But I'm proud to confirm that it works also on the 6S and 6S Plus models, so all the 3D touch capable devices. Somebody told me that it also works on iOS 9, but since I can't downgrade, please write me in the comment if it works or not with iOS 9 and all your problems and your experience with this feature. Well, this was everything I wanted to share with you. I really, really hope you enjoyed this small pill of iPhone 7. 
And if you already knew this feature, well, bravo for discovering it before everyone else. Thanks so much for watching, if you want to support this channel please leave a very big like or a comment in the section and go very 3D touch on the subscribe button for more videos like this and check out the QLED vs OLED video. And as always I'll see you in the next one, ciao!